Yes, very excited. I mean, we got a game on this coming Friday against Penn State Altoona. It's our exhibition, our first real test, put on the jerseys. Freshmen going to get excited. I'm going to be excited. Like, I'm my freshman year all over again. Uh, Just instilling confidence, letting them know that being confident is everything. You got to be confident in whatever you do, whether it's in the class or on the court. They got to be confident and they got to pay attention, especially to the little details. Uh, means a lot to me. It holds me to a different standard. It means that I can't mess up. Like, I have eyes watching me and I know that I can't mess up because if I mess up, I'm letting my team down and myself down. So I have to be a leader on and off the court for my team, my family, my coaches, and most importantly, myself. Uh, it's a, he used the pad for a lot of drills. <laughs> Him and Coach Taylor like to rough us up, but that's the way we're trying to play this year. A lot more physical and up-tempo this year, especially the bigs. Coach Taylor, when he was here, he played very physical, so that's what he's hoping for us. This year, being uh, mentally prepared. Uh, last year, you always going to have your thoughts as like, oh, what's going to happen? What's going to be the outcome of this and that? Oh, this happened in the past. But this year, I just try to be mentally prepared, stay positive. Get, just get better every day and help my teammates and lead us like I'm supposed to. And it feels great to have Umar back up, man. Uh, we came in together as freshmen, you know. Uh, last year was a downfall when he when he got hurt. You know, uh, it took a lot and a lot of pressure came on to to me. A lot they put their best guards on me. So uh, uh, with Umar back, man, it's gonna open up a lot of shots for a lot of people and a lot of people on our on our team who can score. So I'm really excited about that one. Yeah, definitely. Um, being 12, that's just like being an underdog. Every, every single person on our team in life been underdogs for something. I mean, via anything in life, you know, uh, we just feel like that's what we need. Open our eyes so that we have to take our respect besides people just giving it to us and respecting us. So I'm fine with it. It's worse than anything. Like, he hit you with that pad, you should be able to take any type of contact in the game. Like, it seemed like that's how they get their anger out on us. Like, <laughs> that's how they keep hitting us with it, but uh, it helps a lot. Uh, they want us to finish everything. Uh, just challenging us. Like, if you, get, if you get through a pad, you can score anything through a game, so it's not hard at all. It's just annoying at times, but it'd be good. <laughs> I think self-doubt, or when people doubt us, it always is motivating, and being fourth isn't that bad, but it's definitely kind of a insult because we should be first. We have the talent and we have a great coaching staff and I guess we just have to prove to everybody that we should have been first. But all that really matters is the results, not what the pre preseason tool said. Just staying in the gym, working hard, uh, kind of leading the team as an example. I've been here for two years now and I kind of know the ropes and how things work. So just looking out for those who are younger, I think. Uh, is definitely something I need to be doing this year, just improving on my game. Um, I think the coaching staff has a better relationship with the players. We can all joke around and have fun. And I think practice is more um, like lighthearted and it isn't as serious and a lot more competing and having fun rather than getting there doing drills and kind of feeling trapped or something. Extremely excited. Um, it I feel like I've been off the court for like five years rather than one. Um, I've never taken a year off of basketball my entire life since I've been playing. So um, just to hear balls bouncing in the gym is, is an excitement, you know. So. Yeah, uh, it, it kind of came from last year. Um, from a different perspective, not being able to lead by example, um, you kind of just got a coaching sense um, and, and kind of had to step up and do it anyways, um, especially since we had two new assistant coaches last year who weren't really familiar with the way Susan ran her program. I've, it's been ingrained in my head as a point guard since I've been here, so um, just to carry on with Joe and considering that he's uh, staying with an up-tempo style and keeping our offenses and things like that, it's like second nature to me to help them out since I know pretty much what's going on with that. Um, we said from the first day of preseason that we were gonna die. Um, <laughs> It, it's been extremely tough. Uh, all of preseason, the workouts, the conditioning was, I don't want to say terrible, but it was very hard. And right now it's paying off because uh, at the end of the season and even during conference when most teams are dead and can't get up and down the floor, we'll, be, we'll, we'll feel fine and we'll feel like we can run until the day's over. Um, and it makes a difference. It makes a difference towards the end of the season. So. Um, being a leader is always 
is always one of the big challenges, um, especially when you're not used to that role. But I'm looking forward to working with the um, younger ones. Um, most of them are guards, my position. So when I'm in the gym, you get in the gym with me. You know, we, we all have to work hard, um, put in the work to be where we want to be, and that's to win another NEC champ. NEC title, so um, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get them ready and to get a better season. Actually, this preseason, we've actually ran a lot. Um, Coach Eddie, who, who has been conducting preseason workouts and all the running basically in practice, he, he's an energetic guy. Like, he keeps us going. He keeps us ready, motivated, ready to go, get in practice and get it done. Like, that's all we say. We got to get it done. If you mess up, you're going to run. Get it done. That's all he says. But um, it's going to pay off in the long run, especially when um, fourth quarter, fourth quarter, second half comes, four minutes left, and you need and you need that extra push. It's all gonna, it's all gonna pay off. Um, just like any team, when you, when somebody's hot, you find you give them the ball, feed them the ball. You know? um, as being a guard, you don't for, you don't force anything. As being a player, period, you don't force anything. You just let things come to you. Um, when anybody's open, you kick them the ball, and then when you're open, you take the shot. It's just sharing the ball, being teammates. It's just oh, we're here, we're here for each other. So. Nobody's being selfish. We pass the ball and get good looks. For me, it's, um, I mean, shooting was always my thing. But in high school, I was a point guard. And I'd like to develop more of a ball handling um, skill and be able to share the ball a little bit more, get more passing, more um, assists, get my post players some nice passes down there so they can score. Um, I think it's just, it's all about the hard work. And that's one thing that I, pride myself on. I don't like to take any plays off and um, I think that'll really pay off for everybody. Um, I think that's the beauty of our team right now. We have so many people that have so many different skills and so many people that can put the ball in the hoop and that can rebound and that can play defense and I think that's really one thing that we have down pat. Anybody can play any position. Um, well with Susan everything was structure. It was the uh, practice schedule was laid out for us. This is what we're doing one after another. And with Joe, it's more chaos. It's we have to be comfortable in the chaos is what he always says and um, what Coach Eddie really, really emphasizes. And I think whenever teams come to our floor, they're not going to be comfortable in the chaos and we're going to be right in our element. And I think that's one thing that they really have us have us doing is being chaotic and being crazy and running a lot and getting up and down the floor and other teams aren't going to be ready for that from us. We were out there running, they have us in the gym going hard, doing different types of things other than running. They have us lifting hard, they have us um, doing jumping jacks with bricks. <laughs> um, but it's really going to pay off whenever other teams can't keep up. We still have our legs and they're completely done for. So I think that the coaches really have us well prepared.